Just look at how gorgeous these beautiful shades are. I have been waiting for this palette ever since I saw it on Sephora. I'm gonna get started on the looks right away and I will meet you guys at the end to give you my final thoughts on this beauty. I have applied a little bit of my Kaleidos Tone Activator Primer. This is just going to give me a little bit of a tacky base. Okay, and I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. This is EM3 and I'm picking this up on ABK Beauty A503 brush. I'm going to apply this to my crease. It's a very nice soft shade and it literally just blends itself out. I'm really just amazed at how smooth these are, to be honest with you. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this gray shade. You guys can see the fallout in the pan. I'm going to concentrate this just to the outer V area. This is such a beautiful gray shade. It has a slight bit of purple in it as well. It is truly, truly cool toned. Even for a shade this deep, it's not skipping. It's blending out pretty much on its own. Now with whatever is left on the brush, I'm just basically deepening out my crease. I'm gonna pick up this metallic slate shade. This is the shade EM4. And I'm using my Ruffer Mini O2 brush. I'm going to place this just right before that gray shade. The shade is extremely pigmented. I love the depth and the smoothness of the shade. I'm having zero difficulty blending this out. And with whatever is left on the brush, I'm actually just lightly tapping on top of that dark gray shade that we placed earlier. I'm just gonna flip the brush over and pick this shade up. This is EM7. It's like a nice deep taupe. Wow, I really do like the mixture of that taupe with the gray. The shade is quite unique because it has silver and gold flecks in there. So it's giving me more of that mixed metals vibe and I really like it. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be very intense if you use your fingers. I am getting some fallout you guys can see on my cheeks here. Um, so I suggest going in with the eyes first before doing your base. I'm gonna pick up that matte black on a pencil brush. I'm actually going to draw a very soft line just to give it a little bit of definition across the lash line. This is a true deep dark black. It is extremely pigmented, a little bit goes a long way. And with whatever is left, I'm going to pull that across the lower lash line. I have not dipped back into the pan and you guys can see that this is still has a lot of pigment left. So I guess for a softer liner, you wanna be very gentle with this. Going back in with EM3, I'm going to just soften the lower lash line with a pencil brush. This is from Makeup Geek, it is discontinued, but you can find other brands that make very similar uh, brushes. I'm gonna go in with the Sephora Waterproof Eyeliner. This is the 12 Hour Colorful Crayon, and it's in the shade Stone. All right guys, so I went in with some mascara. This is what the eyes are looking like. I'm gonna go and pop on some lashes, and I'll be right back. And these are with lashes. These are half lashes that I purchased, I believe, off of Shein. I'm gonna link them down below. I really like the mixed metals look that this is giving me. It's a little bit of like coolness with a tad bit of warmth and neutrality at the same time. This is a nice combination to try, especially if you're like me, who's like a medium olive skin tone. I'm gonna pick up the shade EM5 here on that Hot and Angie A503 brush. And again, I'm gonna start with the crease. Next, I'm gonna have to dip into this blue for sure. It's such a nice vibrant blue. I'm gonna be very gentle with this and apply that to the outer V area. Wow, what a beautiful shade. And the brush I'm using is that BK Beauty 211 brush. This is the perfect size of brush for my eyelids. And I must say that this is taking a little bit more time for me to blend out to get it nice and smooth. I do have some texture on my eyelids, which is why you're seeing a little bit of skipping here. So I'm gonna pick up EM1, which is the lightest shade in the palette. I'm just gonna lay this from where that blue is to the inner corners. Also, I can tell that this white shade is not a flat matte. It's a little bit more of a satin matte. I'm trying to go for an icy type of look here. Okay, so now I'm gonna pick up EM2 on my fingers. This is a white with like blue icy reflex running through it. And I'm gonna apply that from the inner corner to the outer corner. Ooh, wow, 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 look at that. Wow, that is so pretty. You know, it even has a bit of pink. So far, I feel like this is my favorite topper. I'm gonna to go back in with the blue and I'm going to be very precise in deepening out that outer V because I do want the shade to be prominent. Also kind of like define it a little bit as well. 
So I just want you guys to see that there is a bit of fallout from the shimmers here. So I would recommend you doing your eyes first and then the base. I'm so sorry, I thought I was filming, but I wasn't. But I took this blue shade over here and I applied it to the bottom lash line. As I was saying is that I'm kind of glad that they decided to put this blue in here. It's a nice playful pop of color without looking too overwhelming. Now I did bring this all the way inside here, but if you have small eyes and your eyes look too closed off, you can avoid bringing this all the way in here and just stop halfway if you need to. Next I'm going to tight line with this Maybelline Tattoo Studio. This is in the shade Striking Navy. Alright guys, this is the eyes with mascara on only. And here we are with lashes on. So I don't know if you guys can see, but for this eye, because I have that texture, I had a hard time blending out that blue. And I think this is just like a user error on my part. I don't think I did very good blending on this eye, but on this eye, it actually looks much, much better. I'm not really getting all of that skipping. So I don't tend to get too creative with my eye looks just because generally I don't tend to wear eye looks like that every single day. Even for this tutorial, you're not gonna find anything which is going to be too crazy, um, but I just want you guys to see like the formula and the colors on my skin tone. I'm so happy that Mario decided to drop a full cool tone palette. I love the pop of blue. I love how all of these shades blend together. It leans a little bit more cool. It has mauves and slides Light bits of purple running through some of these matte shades. So I am very, very happy with this. The packaging itself is very standard. It's the same black and white concept. It's very simple. I love that the shade names are at the back here, but the shade names are actually numbers. It makes it so much more easier to follow along rather than memorizing a shade name. And the shade names are going across. So you know, this is EM1, EM2, EM3, EM4, and so on. I can't speak to the other, the first Ethereal Eyes palette because I didn't grab that one at all. So I can't compare and tell you whether the formula of that first palette and this palette is the same or not. But I will say that the mattes in this palette seem a little bit different than the neutrals palette that Mario has. I have done a tutorial with that one too. I just never got around to posting it here on YouTube. So let me know if you guys want to see a video on that one. I really also love the quality of the shimmers in this one. They're very soft and cool to the touch. They almost remind me of the Urban Decay Moondust eyeshadows in terms of the formulation. Like when you actually swatch them in a pan, they feel very smooth and cooling to the touch. It's very hard to explain but I also love how shimmery and glimmery these are. Um, they're, they're basically like, they're basically almost like glistening, like, you know, water, almost glass-like on the eyelids. And I feel that they're going to go really well by themselves or as a topper as well. Now, this shade right here, this is basically like a satin uh, cream. So it has a bit of sheen to it. And when I say by sheen, I mean like it mimics skin. Like if you were to put moisturizer on the skin, you get that little bit of glistening. That's what I mean by sheen. So it looks very natural, almost like a satin, like a satin matte, you can say. All in all, there are four different types of formulas in here. So we have the shimmers and the satin cream. We have a shimmer slate which is more like a metallic shade and of course we have the six matte shades in here as well now finally when it comes to pricing um, in US, uh, I'm going to leave the US equivalent over here somewhere. I know it's like around like 60 something bucks, but in Canada, I purchased mine for $92. And I do understand that these are unique formulas and a lot has gone into curating this palette, curating the formulas, getting the mattes correctly, getting the shimmers right. It's a beautifully curated and put together thought out color story as well. And I definitely don't want to take away from that. But $92 for most people is going to be a little bit up there. It is up there in pricing. It is a luxury. Um, um, price point for an eyeshadow palette. So I feel that this season, this is going to be a great gift to give to somebody like, you know, a close family member or friend. Um, if you're somebody who's into these cool tones, definitely this is for you, which is why I picked it up. I'm going to leave you guys some other videos on the side here that you guys can check out. Thank you so much for sticking around to the very end of your gear. Do let me know what your thoughts are on this palette down below and I will see you in the next one. Bye!